We've covered some advanced option strategies before, and today we're going to be seeing five more. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back to another video. Today, as I said before, we're going to be covering five advanced strategies for you to profit on different market scenarios. So if you haven't seen the last video, it's going to be up here and it was about spreads. So spreads are a multi-legged um, option strategy and that allows you to profit in different market conditions. So if you already have watched the video and you want to see a little bit more, you can go to betopics.io. The link's going to be the first in the description. And you can see, for example, that right here, we have some spreads for you to choose from and we made it simple. So the only thing that you have have to do is to see if you believe the assets going to be above the current strike that you choose or below the strike that you choose. So let me give you an example. Uh, we have right here Bitcoin at $69,000 right now. And if you believe that by July 26, it will be above this, you can open the spread right here and you have a maximum profit of 32%. So imagine 2% in a month and a half. So very, very good. But on the other hand, if you believe Bitcoin is going to go down um, below 65,000, you have this one, 84%. So the thing right here for you to understand, the higher the returns, the higher the risk as well. So one says uh, high risk, but it is paying, paying less. I don't know why. Um, when the other one says medium risk, but it is paying way more. Uh, I honestly, I believe this should be uh, inverted. I believe the 32% should be a medium risk and the 84% should be a high risk. So the rule of thumb here for you to understand is that the lower the number, the more uh, probable the, the POP is going to be in your favor. So the probability of profit is going to be in your favor. So these spreads right here are good for you if you have watched the first video and you understand a little bit about um, advanced strategies. So let's get into what we're going to be looking at today. today we're going to be looking at straddles, strangles, iron condors and butterflies. The iron condors can be both long or short. We're going to be taking a look at those. So this is why five. It's actually four strategies. The straddle and strangle can also be long or short, but we're going to be focusing on long uh, straddle and long uh, strangle. So the timestamps are going to be also in the description or in the bar here. You can see and choose which one you want to learn about. So what do you do if you believe the market is going to go somewhere? So you believe the market has been stable for a lot. There's a pattern showing that indicates that in a matter of weeks, the market will take a side. So it will either go up or down, but you cannot read which way it will go. How do you prepare yourself for that? Well, you have a straddle, you have a long straddle. What is a long straddle? Well, it is basically you buying a call and a put at the same strike. So at the money, you buy a call and a put at the money expiring in two weeks, a month, whatever it is that you feel like it. So this way it creates this PL right here that you're seeing. It creates a V-shaped uh, PL, meaning that whatever side it goes, remember the horizontal axis is the pricing of the underlying asset. So if it's going to the left, it means that the underlying asset is going down in value. And if it's going to the right, it means that the underlying asset is going up in value. This is what the X axis means. So whatever price the underlying asset is at left or right of this V shaped uh, PL, you are going to be profitable and it goes infinite to the right side and all the way to the zero value of the underlying asset on the right side. So it is a strategy that is neutral for you to uh, whatever market condition or whatever spike in uh, value or drop in value from the underlying asset. So if you believe Bitcoin will be at 100K or you believe Bitcoin will be at 40K, you can open this straddle right here. So how do you do that? You buy a call and you buy a put at the money. Uh, unfortunately, on the topics, we still don't have the ability for you to open two positions in one and group it, uh, but we're working on it. This is something that we're trying to make as clean as possible so everyone can open advanced strategies in a very uh, simple way. But you can still do it manually with two options. Uh, of course, tracking that in the PL will be a little bit harder. It is basically the sum of the two PLs. So if one is positive, and the other is negative, you're going to add those two together and you're going to have a final PL of the whole straddle. So how do you do that on the topics? If you go to options right here, you select Bitcoin. Bitcoin is now at 69. What you can do, you can go for, let's say, July. Let's go July 26th and you can go for a 69,000 strike on a call. And then you do the same for the put. You go right here and you go 69 on a put. You see you got two break evens. Of course, these are going to cancel out. So the break even is going to be even shorter. Of course, the break even also is uh, influenced by the ask and bid price of an option, which is something that um, we don't regulate. So uh, sometimes it can be wide, super wide like it is right now. But these for the string. So you also have to keep that in mind 
uh, when you believe the market's going to move towards one side or the other, because it would have to move past the break even for you to be profitable on this strategy. So when you open these, you pretty much have to add the two PLs uh, to understand where you're at with your total uh, PL for the straddle. So now that you know about the straddle, let's talk about the strangle. The strangle does the same thing that a straddle does, but it does it in a different way. So pretty much you're still going to buy a call and a put, but instead of being both at the money, the call will be out of the money, meaning there is going to be a strike above the current price and the put will be out of the money, meaning that it's going to be a strike under the price that is currently at. So why the difference? Why instead of buying at the money, you're going to buy out of the money? Well, out of the money is going to be cheaper. This is a cheaper strategy for you, but it takes more out of the underlying asset for you to be profitable. The underlying asset needs to move a lot more than it did for the straddle to be profitable on a strangle. Because now, instead of having the V shape, you have this wide bowl shape. So the bowl shape, how we're going to call it, is because you took the at the money uh, options and you set them apart. So now you see the two L shape um, PLs combining together to form a bowl shape. And this is the interesting part. The closer these two options are, that they are out of the money for the strangle. But the closer they get to each other, you can see that the PL is going to start to align and it's going to become the V. The closer they get to add the money, they will have a tighter shape. And if they go all the way to add the money, they will become a straddle. So you can see. It is the same principle, it just the PL looks different and it has a different naming, but it is pretty much the same thing. So the strangle is a cheaper strategy than the, the straddle for um, a user. But again, I would much rather uh, do the straddle instead, which is a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't require as much movement from the underlying asset than the uh, strangle. So the strangle is just the cheaper version, uh, not necessarily the best version just because it is cheaper, because again, the underlying asset needs to move a lot, especially with crypto options that they don't have a lot of liquidity. So bid and ask prices are not as tight as they would be with um, stock options or with other commodities. With crypto options, bid and asks, they tend to be um, a little bit further apart. This means that your underlying asset needs to move a lot for you to be profitable on advanced strategies. But it is good to know. And now you know. And the way that you open it is the same way that we just showed for the straddle. So the iron condor is one of my favorite strategies. I like it a lot because it gives you the opportunity to profit inside a range. So the opposite of what we just saw with the straddle and with the strangle is the iron condor. So the iron condor, you can do it in different ways. The normal iron condor it utilizes selling calls and puts at the same time, but you can do iron condors with just calls and with just puts. You can do that with two spreads. It can be called condor spreads and it requires four legs. So it has four options that you open simultaneously to create this uh, shape that you're seeing right here on the screen. So for us, it is better to do the condor spreads than the iron condor itself, but they have the same PL. So the way that you do the condor spreads, it is basically opening two spreads on the other side. So you know the spread has that little S shape, and when you put one mirrored to the other side, so one looking at another, you see that it forms the condor shape that we want. So a long condor, for example, with calls, it looks like this. And as you see in the image, you buy the lowest strike call with uh, strike price A. So strike price B is the second lowest and you're going to sell this and then C, you're also going to sell and D, you're going to buy an out of the money call. So right here, we're buying two options. This, these are the wide ones. These are A and B and we're selling two calls. These are B and C. This creates two spreads side to side and if the underlying asset stays between B and C, this is when you're profitable. Of course, there's a break even between A and B and C and D, but you would like to have the maximum payout by staying between B and C. And shorting that is exactly the flip version of the PL that we just saw. And it is this one that you're seeing right now. What happens is you're going to start selling calls instead of buying. So A and D that were buying calls before, now you're selling them and you're going to buy B and C. And of course, the underlying asset needs to stay further away from A and further away from D as possible. So this pretty much creates a strangle that we just saw, a long strangle, but it is capped. You can see that it has two horizontal lines at the top, meaning that it's capped at a maximum value. And if we compare that to the uh, strangle, the long strangle, you would see that these lines, they continue. They form that bowl shape and the bowl shape continues to infinity on both sides. And this doesn't happen with short condors. So again, if you want to short a condor, I think you should look more into a straddle or a strangle, maybe a straddle for the reasons that we said before, but we do have the way to 
a short a condor and how do you do a condor if you want to do one on the topics of course these are going to be a little bit janky to do but you can do those if we go to the earn tab right here let's go to july and for example if we open this above 54k and below 68k these two create the strike prices that bitcoin needs to stay between for it to be profitable so you're kind of limiting bitcoin between 54 and 68 thousand dollars and that creates the iron condor shape that we just saw because you're opening a spread on one side and a spread on the other side and that creates the shapes that we just saw and of course for you to understand the pnl you have to add the two so even if one is negative you add that to the positive side and you should have the total pnl of that strategy and of course the same way we have a strangle and a straddle being the same thing we also have the butterfly what is the butterfly it is pretty much an iron condor but instead of having a wide strike b and c as we saw before have the same strike so now instead of, instead of having four different um strikes you have three different strikes you have strike a you have strike b and you have strike c too now with the butterfly as you can see it creates a shape but you can see it is an a with two legs at the bottom because it is two spreads again it is two spreads it is not two calls so here we have four options we have four legs that were being open but on the b side which is the top of this a right here it has two options so you sell a you buy two Bs and you sell C. So the butterfly and the condor, they have the same shape. It's just because B and C, which were the strikes that were further apart, now they are overlapping. So they become just one strike. And that strike is at the money. So this is where you want the price of Bitcoin to be, or the underlying asset, you can, you can do that with Ethereum. You want that price to be exactly there at the apex for you to have maximum payout. Of course this is harder so on the opposite of the uh strangle when we said that you want to do a straddle to be more profitable instead of doing a long strangle on the butterfly versus iron condor you actually want the opposite the iron condor is a little bit better for you because you have a little bit of range for the underlying asset to stay into it has to stay between b and c but here you just have c you just have an apex you don't have a price where uh, bitcoin can plateau and or stay between that price no it needs to stay at this specific strike for it to be maximum payout so between a butterfly and a condor i personally like condors better especially if you're trying to limit the underlying asset between a range but with butterflies as with straddles you can make way more money if it goes to the apex if you compare that to an iron condor so for you to do that with topics it gets a little bit harder because again the maximum payout on both sides are not going to be the same unless we have the same strike and bitcoin stays right in between so for example we have a 65 here a below 65 and an above 65 so that could be the um, apex of our um, butterfly but again you can see that one pays 31 percent and one pays 85 percent so you would much rather bitcoin to stay uh, at 64 500 so that you can take the 85 percent uh, payout and you are going to lose the 31 percent payout but that should cover the loss and profit because if it goes to 65 600 you're going to get 31 percent but you're going to lose the whole deposit on the other side which doesn't make much sense uh, so you can see how um, it gets a little bit difficult when it comes to their butterfly to do here on the topics but again you could find a condition where bitcoin is exactly 50 50 and the maximum profit on both sides is exactly 50 50 and you can open that and whatever side it goes you're going to have the same payout on both ends and that should cover losses to whatever side is losing on this strategy so this was a little bit heavy of a topic, but again, the more you know, the better is your chances to profit on whatever market condition. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more options here, more strategies, let me know in the comments which ones you want to see, which ones you heard about and you want to know what they do. So comment down below and I'll be glad to explain that to you. Thanks so much and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.